In this video, we're gonna look at my favorite Microsoft Word hacks or secret tips and tricks that many people don't know about. And here I am in Microsoft Word. It's just a completely blank document. I need to change that. And this is hack number one, really. Anytime you just need some generic text that you can use to demonstrate how to use some feature or option in Microsoft Word, all you have to do is click on the document and type equals. And then you have a couple of options. You can type in rand, left parenthesis, and then put in a number. Whatever number you put here, that's how many paragraphs will be generated. So I want 10 paragraphs, and then I put a comma, and then how many sentences per paragraph? How about four? Right parenthesis, tap enter, and Microsoft Word just puts in some random sentences from their help files. If you prefer lorem ipsum text, you can do something similar. Just type in equals lorem, left parenthesis, how many paragraphs, how many sentences per paragraph. Right parenthesis, tap enter, and you get lorem ipsum text. So that's Microsoft Word hack number one. Now that I've got some text in my document, I can show you how to select any rectangular group of text in your document. So for example, let's say I want to bold the word can and the word online and word. Well, if I click and drag to highlight those words, look what it does. It highlights everything in between as well. But if I hold the Alt key on the keyboard and then do the same click and drag, look what happens. I'm just dragging out a rectangle I'll release the keyboard key, and now I can choose bold, either here or up here, and those words are bolded. So if you ever have trouble selecting specific words or phrases without multiple words getting selected that you don't want, just try it again, hold Alt, and then click and drag, and you can designate exactly what you want to highlight. And notice that it can even be parts of words. So I could highlight or underline very specific parts of words, like part of document and the beginning of the word make. I could underline that or whatever. Our next Microsoft Word hack is that you can change or set up autocorrect rules. So to do this, you can just go to File, go down to More, Options, go to the Proofing tab, and then click Autocorrect Options. Here you can set up shortcuts. So for example, if I ever type MSW, I want that to be replaced with Microsoft Word. I'll click Add, and now it's added to my list of autocorrect shortcuts. I could do the same thing with MSE. I could have that replaced with Microsoft Excel. I'll click Add, and I'll click OK. Click OK again, and let's test it out. When I now type MSW, and then tap Space, it types in Microsoft Word, MSE, and tap Enter. So enter or space, and it puts in the shortcut that I had specified. So if you find yourself typing in the same phrase or word over and over and over, you can set up an autocorrect shortcut phrase or word that will enter that information for you automatically and very quickly. The next Microsoft Word hack is that you can easily and quickly remove formatting that you don't want to keep. So if you recall, I changed up the formatting on this text here, and I regret that. All I have to do is select the text, hold Control and tap Spacebar, and it removes the formatting that I wanted to get rid of. Let's combine a couple of the hacks to fix these words here. I'm holding Alt, I'm clicking and dragging to select a rectangle in my document. With that selected, I hold Control, tap Spacebar, and the formatting is fixed. My next favorite Microsoft Word hack is that you can delete words faster than just pressing the backspace key. So yes, if I wanna delete this sentence, I could just tap backspace, backspace, backspace. I could hold it, and eventually it would delete that sentence. I'm gonna undo that just to show you a little bit faster way to do the same thing. Instead of just pressing backspace, I can hold control on the keyboard and then tap backspace, and it deletes not one letter at a time, but one word at a time. So you can much more quickly delete words or phrases that you want to get rid of. My next Microsoft Word hack is very simple, but it's very powerful, and a lot of people, especially people that have used Word for a long time, are likely not aware of this option and feature. And that is that Microsoft Word can now easily and very successfully convert PDFs into Word format. So I'm gonna go to File and click Open, and I'm just gonna browse to my Downloads folder where I have a PDF. And I want you to see what that PDF looks like independent of Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna open up my Downloads folder 
I'll double click to open up the PDF. So this is just a worksheet for a Spanish class and it is in PDF format. It can't be changed. I can't add text. I could add a note, but I can't change the text, the information in this worksheet. So I'm going to exit out of that. Back in Microsoft Word, I'm going to just open that same PDF. And Microsoft Word here is trying to convert the PDF into an editable Word document. Now notice there is one caveat to this process. It says it will be optimized to allow you to edit the text, but it may not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if there's graphics in the original. Now in my experience, nine times out of 10, the conversion works great, looks great, and there isn't much to do to fix anything. So here is that same PDF, but now as an editable Microsoft Word document. I could adjust the text, change it up, and then print it out or save it as a PDF again if I want to. This next Microsoft Word hack, what it is, is as you can see above the text of my Word document, I have this gray area and it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Some people like it being there, others don't. Typically people that don't appreciate that being there are people like me that have a small computer screen and you want to maximize every part of the screen and use it well. So as you can see here, by putting my mouse in that gray area, it says double click to hide white space. And that's the hack that I wanted to share with you. If I double click here, the white space, it's really gray, is hidden or at least minimized. So now more of the screen is usable. If I regret that and want it back, just double click again, and it brings back that gray area or white space as they call it. It doesn't look like it did it, but if I click here and drag this back up, you can see that it's back. And just so you know, when you do hide what they call the white space, it also does it at the bottom of the page as well. The next Microsoft Word hack is that you can change the theme of Microsoft Word. If you like the way it looks with lots of white and gray and some blue, that's fine. But you could also go to File and then Account. And then here it says Office Theme, Use System Setting. I could change that to be dark gray. I could change it to be black. Now let's say I stick with black, I go back, and now the look and feel of Microsoft Word has changed. In my case, I want to switch back to use system setting. Switching back to my other document, my final Microsoft Word secret tip or hack is that you can double click anywhere in a Microsoft Word document to add text. So let's say I want to add some text in between these two paragraphs. That's not very typical. And I also want it to be on the right side here. So all I really need to do is double click exactly where I want to type and then start typing. So those are a few of my favorite Microsoft Word hacks or secret tips. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, please click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll find more information about those opportunities in the description below the video.